All right, hello, good people. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Welcome to my little brief video in FreeCAD. Today, I'm going to be going over something I discovered a couple, uh, oh, a couple days ago. I'm not a FreeCAD guru. I only been using it for less than a year, and I use it off and on. But I'm going to show you a nice nifty feature as it involves measurement. I don't think I've seen any videos on this. So let me go to estimate. Let me go to create. And the version of FreeCAD I'm using, I like to say this, is a uh, version. You see it right here, 0 0.21.1. That's my version of FreeCAD. All right, I need to be in the famous part design. I'm going to create two little simple items. So I go here to I create a body, create a sketch. I would like to put it on X, Y, Z because I'm used to that from, you know, math class. Okay, it's on X, Y, Z. I'll just make it a simple circle. Simple circle. I don't need no constraints because I'm just doing a little video on, the, on that measurement tool. I pad it. That is. Hit OK. And I'm going to try two objects today. Well, anyway, I'm going to start with this first. The two I want to use. Is right here. It's called measure distance. It's not highly so it's working now. I discovered as you see where I'm clicking at, it don't work in an empty space. I had to learn it the hard way. It only works on a particular object you have. So I'm gonna click on this object. I'm gonna click right here on this little edge. Then I'm gonna go, there's nothing happened. Then I'm gonna go to this other edge. Over here, oh, I got to click on the ruler again. I'm clicking the ruler. Click on this edge. Stay there. Something happened, and it's telling me it's approximately. Let's see, it's approximately what? Cause you remember, it's not perfect. Look, it's twenty-seven. Let me click on this and see what happened. Oh, and then if you can't see your numbers, if you can't see your numbers, you can click on model. Then go right over here to the distance, and they'll tell you. So it's about rough, almost three millimeters. So that's the good thing about it. If you have trouble seeing your numbers, you go over here to Carmel View and look, and it'll tell you that exact number. So that's a good little thing. Now the reason I like this because you're like when you're making something, you don't want to keep going back to the sketch and all that to see how the dimensions of a um a, a side is or whatever, and then you know like. I'm discovering that you know, like the more complicated your shape, it'd be hard to find that particular sketch easy. But if you click on the sketch, it may show you. But you get my point. When I do this, I don't gotta go hunting and looking. So let me click back on. I'm sending part this on. Let me click on the ruler again and do another little measurement. Here, I'm gonna click on this top part right here. Let me come down right here. Oh, it made a little X right there too. If you see, it's a faint X right there. Click right here, and it has to be on that object, so I can see that clear as day. Ten and two hundredths of a millimeter. But the thing I love about you go right over here to uh that comma view, and you see your number right there. And I don't, I don't think you can edit that number. I never, you can't change it because it does give you what you clicked on. So you can't edit that number. See, I'm clicking on it. I can't. Can I edit it? Well, I can I can. No, but it's not. Ch if I edit it, it won't change. You know, and that view won't change. So I can put anything I want here. So it doesn't do what it doesn't do good to edit it because this is basically just a name. Yes, yeah, it's just a name. Uh, now I call it fifty-five millimeters, and that don't do nothing. I don't know. So it's good just to leave it just as it is. I put. I re I rename it. Right here, up so it's not, it's no good to be messing with it, touching it, just leave it as it is, and they give you that accurate number without no hassle. Now, this is the part I want to get to today. I'm going to add another body to it. I'm going to see, can I tell the distance between two different bodies? If it does, good. If it don't, okay, my video is over. So, I'm going to click on body, new body. 
add a new sketch. Choose number level X, Y, Z again. This time, I'm just going to use a, the standard cube that they use a lot in FreeCAD. I use a standard or, or rectangle. Zap. There it is. Get padded. Now, this is the part I'm going to see. I want to see, can it give me the... It should work, in theory. It should work. I'm going to tell... I'm going to see, can it give me the distance between my two objects? And if it can do that, that's a big deal. I haven't tried it late earlier, but I'll try it now. So I'm going to click back on the ruler. I'm going to click on this object here. Click. Click anywhere on here. Oh, it did! Now it's helpful. Because now, so it gave me the distance between two different objects. Now that's a big deal. That's a big deal because you know when you're dealing with a 3D program, you can't see how things are in the real world. You can't see the real distance. But now, if you're making something, you can use that measurement tool to give it the exact uh, distance that you want. So the measurement tool does come in handy. Thank you for stopping by, good people. Until I make my next video, peace.